Dignity Awards, which we celebrate and confer this afternoon, are, are an important way of, uh, of, of saying to the university community and especially to those who receive those awards, these are our values. These are human achievements that we're proud of. We have much to be proud of. We're proud of our students, we're proud of our faculty, we're proud of the dedication that we have made to the cultural diversity of our campus, to the respect we have for one another, and for the love and care it takes in order to form a community like that and live together for, on a principle of dedication of human rights and caring for one another. So it's my pleasure to begin the presentation of our 2011 Human Dignity Awards by calling forward Linda Bosniak, Distinguished Professor of Law at Cambridge. I work on citizenship, immigration, equality and membership issues and um, certainly will devote my uh, 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 honorarium to an organization of that kind and I just want to thank you. I'm not sure what else to say. Thank you so much. Next I want to call forward Marisol Conde Hernandez, a member of the School of Arts and Sciences. I'm incredibly proud to be addressing some of my future scholars in the Rutgers Future Scholars Program. Girls that always inspire me, scholars that remind me why my work is important, why I love to work with youth, and excuse me if I cry, but I'm even more thankful that my dad is here and my little brother, because I've always been guided to do what was right and to always remember where I come from, because I come from Princeton, but my father didn't, and his sacrifice of leaving his home, leaving his mother, and her passing away and not ever having a chance to say goodbye to him. Not being able to go say goodbye to her because if he did, he'd have to leave me and my brother behind. I am in awe of that sacrifice. Ese premio te lo dedico a ti, papi. And next I invite Namrata Kulkarnev, a member of the School of Engineering, class of 2011, and president of Engineers Without Borders to come forward on behalf of the Rutgers student chapter of Engineers Without Borders. After developing this organization in such a diverse environment, we are truly grateful for receiving this award as it is a hallmark for our accomplishments and a monumental turning point for establishing ourselves as a humanitarian organization right here on campus. So I, I'd like to say that we would donate our honorarium to the projects that we are working on currently in Guatemala and Kenya. Our next 2011 Human Dignity Award has been earned by another member of the SAS class of 2011. It's my pleasure to ask Aaron Lee to come forward. You know, in the wake of the tragedy of Tyler Clementi um, and some of the other um, LGBT hate crimes have happened this year. I think it's really important that, um, you know, we also think about the ways in which, you know, um, civility um, can sometimes mean being uncivil and really learning to say, like, I'm not willing to be treated like this, you know? And um, I'm different than a lot of people, but that's also legitimate. Um, and uh, you know, I'm really glad that I got this. And I'm really, really excited about the gender neutral housing and other initiatives planned for next year. And I think they're going to be wonderful. And um, I really hope that a new, you know, a new crowd of students takes up the mantle and does great things. So thank you. Our final award uh, is for Darren Clark, Executive Director of the Continuing Education and Global Outreach Programs. Darren, please come forward. Those of you who know me know that this project is a labor of love. And it's without this love that I could not do what I do. The love comes from my family. And I'm proud to acknowledge two of my family members here today. My wife, Professor Tomlinson Clark, Sandra Tomlinson Clark, <laughs> and my son, Ross Clark, who is on uh, spring holiday. And finally, the honorarium that comes with the certificate, I would like to use half of it um, in South Africa as a part of the initiative that we will be doing with Tobaho Trust this July. And then the other half I'd like to use for a gentleman that I've never met but have a great deal of respect for. Many of you know him 
um, and his triumphs here in the Rutgers community. That is number 52, the defensive tackle, Eric Legrand. <laughs> 